What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin and today I'm coming in with a video talking about my experience buying weed from the dark web. Hope you guys do enjoy, drop a like if you do. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server in the description below, hop in there, say what's up, and let's dive into it. So, buying weed from the dark web. Now, this wasn't a super, super excuse me, common thing, this only happened a couple times, but... My first ever time, I was a little nervous, and what ended up happening, how it kind of played out was, I'd known about the dark web even before I started smoking weed. You know, I knew it was a thing, I was really into computers and all that, I knew a lot about Tor, I'd even browsed it before I ever started doing drugs or doing anything like that, I'd browsed the dark web, looked around a bit, and I I'm going to try to not get too specific for the purposes of security you know it's really important to not expose other people and who they are on the dark web so i'm not going to describe the package too much you know i'm not going to try to you know try to give hints at where it came from because every vendor on the dark web sends things differently and packages them differently so either way i went on there and i was scrolling through and i knew i wanted to get some weed and i'm not gonna lie I was nervous, you know, I, I can't even lie, I was pretty scared, because I wasn't scared about getting caught, I wasn't scared about the package getting busted, I was scared about getting scammed, you know, I, I the first ever website I used was Alphabay to get my shit, and I was scrolling through Alphabay, and there was just so many listings, and I, I didn't really know what to do since I was brand new, like, what to do if I got scammed, and I didn't know how to potentially, like, avoid being scammed because I figured I'm a pretty easy target you know and I kind of read up on it a little bit like how to effectively and safely like use Alphabay and use other uh, darknet markets and stuff like that and I, I try to do a little bit of research but at the end of the day I still had to experience it to actually get to know what I was doing so I'm scrolling through I'm looking through vendors and I find this guy who has a pretty good price. You know, I'm, I'm looking through it. I'm trying not to not to buy like super cheap weed because I wanted to smoke this. Like I wanted a good deal, but I wanted nice shit to smoke. So I'm scrolling through and I found a guy who was doing an ounce for 150 of what he said was top shelf weed. He said it was incredible, super good. You know, he was like, wow, it's fucking great. I believe it was a pretty, a pretty generic strain. I believe it was Gorilla Glue. And, you know, I'm looking through the listing, I'm looking at his feedback, his reviews and all that, good feedback, good reviews, and one thing I can say, I don't recommend buying things from the dark web, buying drugs in general, of course, but I don't recommend buying things from the dark web, you know, because the moment any drug or illegal substance or illegal object touches the mail and is sent through the postal service, it is a felony. You know, you could send a gram of weed, which is like a traffic ticket here in Chicago, but the moment it goes into a box and is shipped somewhere, it's an automatic felony. That's trafficking. So I believe it's trafficking. I don't I don't remember the exact charge. I I'm pretty sure it's trafficking. I don't remember. Either way, I know for a fact it's a felony. So Either way, you know, I'm looking through and I'm looking for people who ship from the US. I want US to US deliveries. I want a domestic shipping because I didn't want international. I didn't want customs touching it. I figured that would just increase my chances of getting fucked. And I wanted it to get there quick. So I'm scrolling through, find a guy who's offering an ounce of Gorilla Glue for 150 bucks. I was like, okay, that's a pretty good price. You know, it's apparently top shelf. You know, the, the feedback says it's good. So fuck it. I'll smack by, you know, and I, I tried to use someone who wasn't really, really popular. I wanted to use someone who had like some buyers, but not a fuck ton. Cause I felt like the really, really popular dudes with a fuck ton of feedback were either scammers with a bunch of fake feedback, or they were more than likely going to get caught by cops because they send out so much fucking product. So, you know, I chose a guy who maybe only had like 20 or 30 sales, you know, not a ton. And I placed my order bought my Bitcoin. You know, I already had my Bitcoin prior to even starting to look for something to buy. I already bought it. I ended up getting like 200 bucks in Bitcoin that lasts like 40 bucks. I just wasted on stupid shit. But I placed the order, you know, send in my address. Alphabay had, you know, a, a feature where you could encrypt your stuff with PGP. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, it's basically like, it's it's a it's a way to encrypt your messages when you're talking to someone online so only they can see it you know so 
either way, I encrypt it. You know, I, I do all my stuff. It was my first time. I was like, is this guy going to see this? Did I do it right? Is this guy going to, you know, is he going to send it? Like, oh shit, you know, and I, I confirmed the order. You know, I, I confirmed the order, sent the Bitcoin to the address it asked me to, and we were all good. You know, we were going. The payment was sent. So then I, after that, I logged off. I was like, fuck it. You know, nothing to do now. Just wait. So I logged off. I logged back in the next day to check, you know, I, I wanted to see because there's a little status thing in the cart that says if it's marked as shipping or, you know, processing or if the vendor even accepted the order and it was marked as shipping already. So I was like, oh, all right, cool. He already shipped it in a day. That's dope. So I remember I ordered it on a Tuesday. He marked it shipped on Wednesday. So Thursday rolls around, nothing. Friday rolls around, it got delivered. And I was sketched out. I'm not going to lie. I was sketched out. I, I remember it got delivered. It was in my mailbox. It was marked as delivered on, you know, on Alpha Bay. So I was like, oh shit, you know, it's, it's prime time. Like, all right, cool. So do I go out and check for it? Like, what the fuck, you know? So it wasn't, it wasn't marked as delivered, but he ended up sending me a tracking number and that's how I found out that it was delivered. So it was marked as delivered on tracking, not on, you know, Alphabet because they, they only had a thing where you had to, it was always marked as shipping and then you yourself had to go finalize it once you received it so the vendor could get paid. So either way, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh fuck, it, it was delivered. And another pro tip, I, this was my rookie mistake. Never check the tracking number unless you absolutely have to because they can see who views it and that's a way to prosecute you. So don't encourage ever buying drugs on the deep web, but if you do, never check the tracking number unless it's been an unusually long time. So either way, back to business. I'm like, oh shit. So I'm sitting in my house. I figure, you know what? I'll let it sit for a little while, you know, because my mom wasn't home at the time. She wasn't going to be home for a while and... You know, that that's another thing. Pro tip, another pro tip. Don't ever get drugs delivered to your parents' house. I was an idiot for doing this, but I, a lot of people do it. But don't do it. That's scummy as fuck. That falls on them as well. So don't fucking do that. But either way, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh shit, you know, like this, this shit's going to get delivered. Like this is, this is real. Like it's here, dude. And I, I'd read up about what controlled deliveries were and how you can get caught and how the police bust you. And they send like a postal guy to come get a signature. They watch for you to like take the package. And then if like, if you open it, it's a crime, you know? So I was sitting there and I was like, Oh fuck. So I went outside. I looked around, you know, maybe like three hours after it was marked delivered on the tracking. And I grabbed it, grabbed the rest of the mail that was there, and I walked back inside. And I let it sit on the counter. I was waiting. I was like, dude, is the SWAT team about to, like, kick through my fucking door? Like, oh, shit. You know, I sat and waited for maybe, like, 10, 15 minutes. Nothing happened. And I was like, all right, I'm good to go. So I busted the box open. It was, it wasn't a box, actually. It was like a, it was like a, like a tiny little, like, parcel, like an envelope almost. Like, it, it. I don't, I don't remember what they're called. It wasn't a box. It was like a big like parcel thing. So I open it, you know, I'm, there's no smell. There's no indication that this could be weed. The package didn't look sketchy. I, I'm not going to go into exactly what each layer of security was that I had to open because that's how they can identify some vendors. You know, that's how people can get caught. And it was great weed. So I'm not going to do that to the guy. So either way, I open it up. I bust it open, pull out the weed it looked pretty compressed. I was a little worried. I was like, is this even an ounce? Like this looks not like an ounce. Like this is kind of compressed. So I busted it out, ended up scaling it up, you know, making sure it actually came in overweight. It came in at 31 and a half. So I got an extra eighth for free. And that was really fucking dope. And the first thing I wanted to do, you know, as soon as I busted open that bag, I started scaling it. It stunk. It was great fucking weed. Like it was just a normal strain. It was Gorilla Glue. It was no crazy like strain that's not common. It was a super common strain. It was just really, really high quality fresh weed. Like you could tell this was recently harvested. This was definitely not sitting in, you know, Jimmy John, the high school plugs basement for six months before we finally said, oh shit, let me sell this. You know, this, this was some fresh weed, you know? So I scaled it up, came out to 31 and a half. I smoked, I think I smoked most of it, honestly. I, I originally wanted to sell it, but when I got it, I was like, dude, this is so nice. I'm just going to smoke it all. Fuck this. This is great weed. So I smoked like probably like 
at least 20 grams of it. I only sold like a quad, if even. Yeah, I barely sold any. I don't even know why I sold a quad at that point. I feel like if you've already smoked the majority of your product, you might as well just blow the rest. Like, at that point, dude, you're already down money. Fuck it. You're not like, fuck it. But either way, it was some great fucking weed. It, it was really, really nice. It was stinky. It was sticky. It was, it was good. It was some top shelf, not a false advertisement. I went back on Alpha Bay, gave the guy a thumbs up, positive feedback, said, great stuff, fast shipping, thanks. You know, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast, but it came promptly. It was delivered. So either way, that was my experience with my first time buying something on the dark web. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.